to another edition of the World Softball League. Today, I am Dave Bench. And I'm Sarah Snow. Now, Dave, check this out. Softball is the third largest participation sport across the North America. It Did is. you know that? Huh. Something wow. he didn't know. <laughs> Who would have guessed? I don't know everything. This is the show that determines the national champions in slow pitch. Now, WSL is in its second season this year, and the league continues to grow. Now, last year, the championship was in Las Vegas, Nevada. This year, we're changing venues. It will be in Panama City Beach, Florida. And right now, over 2,000 teams are duking it out at over 20 qualifier tournaments for the right to play in Panama City Beach. Everywhere from Alabama to North Dakota, softball teams will try and earn their way to the Edgewater Beach Resort and a coveted WSL crown. Now this season we will not only have a men's open division winner but we will also have winners in class B, C, and D and we're excited about this for the first time ever we will crown a WSL women's champion. And this week we head on down south for the 18th annual Budweiser Softball Festival. Mike Woodley has that story. Here in the heart of Texas everything's big. Big cars, big campuses, big time football. And in softball, one of the biggest tournaments you'll find anywhere is right here in the Lone Star State. Softball in Texas is a great pastime. Gives us something to do. Uh, very competitive, we love it. It gives us a chance to break the nine to five routine. Uh, we, 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 we take it serious too. You know, we love it, but, but we don't like to lose. Uh, it's just uh, it's a Texas pride kind of thing. You know, we, uh, we don't like to lose at marbles, let alone softball. You know, football's right along with that, too. In one weekend, over 200 teams, a quarter of a million into the local economy. The Bud is the king of all tournaments in Texas. Softball is very big in this community. Uh, our local association, District 30, has registered the most teams in Texas ASA for uh, at least five years in a row and, and it's real popular here at the grassroots level, which is where softball is uh, trying to develop its growth and uh, we're just happy to be a part of it. And, you know, a lot of teams um, can't wait to get into this tournament. With the goal being a trip to Panama City Beach, many who came out to play including Craig Ludwig, who with hockey's Dallas Stars won Lord Stanley's Cup. After he hung up the skates, he picked up the glove, taking a shot at softball. In College Station, Mike Woodley, World Softball League Today. All right, next up, we will hit the diamond for all the action, plus get a Texas tour of Veterans Park for those who fought and are not forgotten by those who play. Play ball! It's going, going, it could be, it's way out of here. Another Ultra 2 home run brought to you by the mad scientist at Mike and Sports. Ultra 2's Ultra E-Flex technology puts the power in your hands. 29% more barrel flex creates spring-loaded energy for ultra distance. Ultra Strong Carbon X composite shell delivers maximum durability. The Ultra 2 has the industry's largest sweet spot because it's not how far you hit, it's how many times you hit far. Long Haul Trucking, running on the power of promises kept. The company you call first, Long Haul Trucks, there to serve you with GPS satellite equipped trucks. Ensure instant response for load location and your peace of mind. Top of the line, late model, state of the art equipment. Smoothest riding trucks in the industry at Long Haul Trucking. We also offer the revolutionary roll tight tarping system. Loads like a conventional flatbed and protects your payload like a van. Long Haul Trucking, running on the power of promises kept. The World Softball League Today is brought to you by Trump Ball by Anaconda Sports and Mike, it, maker of the Ultra 2. So it was a tough road and playing minor league ball was tough, but now I can't do it anymore. I had a couple rotator cuff surgeries and now I'm just trying to play softball and having fun and living life as it goes. Hi, and welcome back to World Softball League Today. Well, if anyone ever tells you that softball participation isn't what it used to be, send them over to Greg Hutchinson's Texas Style Softball Bash. Over 219 teams played round the clock into the wee hours of Monday morning to settle the softball score. The event kicked off Friday night with a home run derby. It's 
tough. I tell you, there's some good competition here. I mean, too good. So I'm just glad, glad to be in it. So <laughs> he, uh, oh, uh, Coco, he's he's one of a kind. I tell you, so you can't you can't beat him. If I'm just standing in a box beside him, that's fine with me. So. <laughs> Later in the show, we highlight all the B, C, and D division winners as well as the first women's team to earn a berth for Panama City. Then we're still in Texas, so the big boys are hitting the big shots as we head to the Open Division semifinals where host team Budweiser is dueling Houston Capital. And Houston looks to get out of the game first. Ray Butler, former NFL wide receiver, playing some free sound softball. Gets the double to get the team going. Nice hustle there on the base pass. Run comes in. Butler, the former NFL player, also showing why he was a receiver. Pretty good quicks as he gets the ball, tracks it down for the nice defensive catch. Then Andre Newhouse. Oh, he's got a bat. Goes deep for Capital Houston on top 62. And you think they're fired up? Yeah, just a little bit. But Bud would come back in this one behind Larry Carter. Yeah, Joel Carter's brother. Larry doubles in a run, and Bud would rally to actually retake the lead at 8-6. to six. And actually, Larry comes in to be safe at second. Nice hustle by the big man as he beats the throw. Then it's time for the Smith brothers to get their act going. First, Jeff. He shows his quicks, beats out the throw to first. He is safe. You know, don't see that very often. And then it's Gerald's turn. The big brother going to center. And Andre Newhouse. Oh, are you kidding me? Comes up with the grab. Nice grab there. Last chance for capital. Brian Jackson beats it out to first and then advances to second on the bad throw. Ray Adams then drives in the winning run as capital surprises Bud in their own tournament. Celebration for Houston. They can't believe it. The fans can't believe it. Nobody can believe it. Houston Capital wins the game. And afterwards, we heard from the hero, Andre Newhouse. Just hard. Hard and determination, baby. As you said, underdogs, there is no such word. You put your pants on, you play hard, you can win. Stay together, stay together, stay together. Every aspect. We saw great speed, we saw great defense and timely hitting, didn't we? Just clutch, baby. Just clutch. I mean, this this is what we came to College Station for. Play the big, so-called big team and prove that we can play with the big teams. And we proved that tonight. What does it say about that. softball? It's a man's sport, kids game. Play it hard. Play it hard. Now, Capital was some serious athletes. Newhouse is actually the cousin of former Dallas Cowboys running back Robert Newhouse, and not too shabby an athlete himself as he made it to double A in the Kansas City Royals organization. And also, Ray Butler on Capital, you saw him. He spent 10 years as a wide receiver in the NFL, played opposite Steve Largent in Seattle before finishing his career with the Indianapolis Colts. And then in the other semifinal, U.S. Vinyl took on Mountaintop. Vinyl, of course, known for their heavy punch, especially with those new Mike and Bats. Let's take a look at that. 